Welcome to the Hampan Court Book, a brand new way to use your Hampan to play songs you already know. You'll see a load of different songs options on that front page, so choose one that takes your fancy, or use the search bar to search by artist or song. We've got loads of different songs on there at the moment, but if you don't see your favourite song, just pop me a message. I'm adding new tunes all the time, and I love hearing things that people would like to learn. Once you've chosen your song, open it up, and you'll find out a few different settings to change. Once you've changed these, the website will remember each time you come back, so you should only need to do it once. Firstly, select your ding, the note in the middle, from the drop-down list. You either have two or three. The two option means it's a very low sounding note, so if you've got a reasonably high sounding note, it's probably a three. If you're not sure, go for that. Next, select the scale name. Some scales have two or three names, so we've tried to include it by every name you might know it. If you don't see your scale, just let me know, pop me a message. Or you can use the custom scale input, where you write out every letter of your hand pan. However you choose to get those notes in there, then it's time for the next step. Select sharps or flats. This means do you want your hand pan to be called C sharp minor or D flat minor? They're both the same note, but you might be more used to knowing it one way or another. If you're not sure, just leave it as it's set. Next up, select a key. We've chosen the one that works best for your hand pan, that gives you the most available chords to play that particular song. So if you're not sure, just leave it as suggested. However, you might be playing with a singer or another instrumentalist who wants to play in a specific key, which is also totally fine. If you have two handpans and you want to play it together, make sure they both choose the same key. It might not work as well for one or the other, but make sure you're both in the same key so you can play it together. Next up, some personal choices. Do you play with the lowest note towards you or two split? You can rotate that, which will rotate the icons. And size, you can adjust the size of the icons and of the text to best fit on your screen. So make them bigger and smaller until it's comfortable. You might want to change that for each song, whatever works best. Now your page should be configured and ready to play your instrument. You should see a list of chords that are available in the song. It's useful to have a little practice and familiarise with them before you dive into the lyrics. You don't need to play every single note on the pan script. There might be five or six different options for one chord. Instead, choose the ones that sound nice to you. You might play one, two or three different notes. It's completely up to you. For a rule of thumb, choose the lowest notes, so the ding and those closest to your body when you're playing chords, to leave space for the melody to sit on top. Finally, showtime. Get in there, sing through the words, or maybe you can play the melody on the handpan too, or maybe you can get a meet in to join in on a flute or another instrument, whatever works for you. I'm so excited to see and hear all the things that you folks do. I've been beavering away on this website for months and I'm so glad to finally be sharing it with people. So please tag me, share any videos. I'll be sharing them, resharing them on handpan core book, all of those things, follow along, make sure that you're watching and engaged and yeah. I can't wait to see what you do. Thank you for watching this. Now head over to Handpan Core Book, armed and ready to go.